What do you think you are doing wrong, but are too scared to ask somebody? How to handle anger? I'm too embarrassed to ask. Kissing. I've had no complaints, but it's not really something your parents taught you to do properly, unless you're into that. My PhD. Going into my third year, and I still don't feel as if I ever adjusted or developed healthy habits. Just trying to take it a day at a time and not procrastinate beyond no return. Supervising. I am put in the position, but just rely on the efficiency of my subordinates. As soon as there's someone who's lazy or a troublemaker, I've got to figure out how to learn. Using Reddit, specifically the quote feature, no idea how to do it. Exclusively using Reddit app on iPhone. Is as bad to say everything? I have no idea what the beep I'm doing anymore. Edit. Well, my first awards. Thank you so much. And it's nice to know I'm not alone with how I feel. My finances. No idea how to properly manage my money. Relationships. I recently started out in the dating scene, and I don't know what's the difference between being a couple and being really good friends. Also, sex is really strange to me. Babysitting. I babysat a few times when I was 13 or 14, and I wasn't sure if I was just supposed to check in on the kid or play with them, or just like make sure they don't die. I'm really good at kid sitting, but babysitting, or for me watching a kid under seven years old, is just hard. I feel like I'm really articulate when I'm going about my day, especially over text. But as soon as I get into a verbal disagreement, it's like my beep brain shuts off and I forget how to think, like a deer in the headlights. I don't remember it always being this way, but it's like I've got this huge amount of social anxiety in those situations now, and I struggle to accurately express myself. Calculus two. This happened last semester. I was horrible at integrals and didn't want my classmates to find out how much of a dumbass I was. Flirting. Let's face it. I don't even know what the heck that is, how it works, and what the difference between talking and flirting is. Funny enough, apparently that leads to me being constantly flirty without wanting to be. At least I often get told that I flirt with almost every single person I met. My marriage and dealing with mental health. For starters, I'm 23. My wife is 21. I have pretty much ruined my marriage. What's killing me is I don't know how. We're both in the army. She went home for a medical emergency two weeks ago for ten days. All she did was drink and party. Barely talked to me at all. Told me to leave her alone. She comes back, acts super shady, changed her password and sleeps with her phone under her pillow. And when I ask who she's talking to, she says, "Don't worry about it or nobody." She wears glasses, so I can clearly see her switching from Snapchat to another app. Got on her MacBook to talk to my mom on Skype, and her texts popped up. Her friends were encouraging her to go hook up with an ex. She hung out with this dude several times when she was there. I am 90% sure she cheated on me. This weekend is our anniversary, and she's doing a girls' weekend. I have no idea what to do. I try talking to her, and she says she wants space and a break. I'm super beep depressed. Dot. As I'm writing this, I am on my 30th hour without sleep. I can't get out of my own head. I am so depressed, and I'm so alone. I'm so tired. Any advice is welcome. Not sure if this is the right place to post this. Everything, honestly. My degree. I'm not exactly failing, but I'm not doing too good either. And I know I could do better if I just tried, but I just don't have the any more. Handling my partner's depression and newly developed suicidal thoughts. Relationships. Throughout my life, I've never gotten much romantic attention, and when I do receive it, I tend to be obnoxiously clingy, which leads to being left alone again. I don't know how to break this habit because my emotions are just strong. Showering. I have very, very long, thick hair, and I just kind of blast shampoo and conditioner at it. People ask me what I do to keep my hair so nice, and I have no idea what to say. People seem to have such complex hair rituals, and I'm here just aping it up. I'm worried I made a bad decision. Everyone tells me it was a good decision, but it feels wrong. I'm a girl. Not sure if I'm supposed to shave the thin blonde hairs in my thighs or not. Sometimes they look darker, but sometimes they look blonde. I shave the rest of my legs below the knee, but I'm in my thirties. Feels like I should know this already. Parallel parking, getting out a parking spot, driving in general. First day I got my license, I hit a car backing out. That I care way more for people than they care for me. General conversation. I just suck at talking to people I don't really know or don't know at all. 
Sometimes when I get tips for stuff I respond yes or okay or thank you and even that feels weird or wrong, even the action of saying hello feels off. It even happens with friends sometimes. Shaving my balls. Treating my depression. I've been in therapy for years now, have tried various antidepressants, made huge life changes including abstaining from alcohol, removed toxic relationships, even changing my diet. I've tried everything I can find, and, if anything, things are getting worse. It's getting to the point where tomorrow I have an appointment to find out if I have cancer, and can't decide if I will bother with treatment in the case that I do. Walking, it's silly I know. But I broke my leg when I was two and according to family learned to walk with a cast, then had to learn to walk without it again. I just know my walk is messed up because of it, but I'm afraid that if I ask my drive for a referral to fix it that she won't take me seriously. It's kinda also why I don't run, my run is worse unamused. Honestly, how to stop having beef that take a whole roll of paper and wiping till I bleed. I have a healthy diet, I've tried that high fiber stuff. Seems the only way I can have a clean beep is by being dehydrated or drinking lots of milk. Empathy. I don't know if I experience empathy normally or if it's too low. Wiping my ass. Forward? Back? I just shove things in there? Should I upvote first before I comment the other way around? Being a picky eater. So preparing food, I've been wanting to try new things but I have no idea what to buy how to prepare it and it scares me to ask because I don't want it to sound like I'm some sort of alien. I want to know if I'm doing the right thing to make Mr. Rogers proud. He's what I've always strived to be. I'm not always a good person, but I try really hard. I feel like I'm always trying really hard. I don't know how much more I can take. Brushing my teeth. Why do the foam tend to dribble down my chin and sometimes down my right arm? When did I bite the toothbrush? Why does my toothbrush wear out in a month? How do I brush my tongue well enough? And washing my hair. I feel I overwash it, but if I try lessening the washing, my hair sounds foamy when I dry it. Every day, I live in the fear of shampoo still left in my hair. Programming. I mean, I mostly understand the concepts, but I struggle and fail WAAAY more often than I succeed. Life. Like what I'm supposed to be doing. I have about 80 years total. So far, I've learned stuff, got married, and got a good job. Am I just grinding out the rest of my years? I've been driving for 15 years and when a merge lane is ending with no cars around I don't know what I should actually be doing. It was only just recently when my buddy driving turned into the ending side of passing lane almost right away that I was like huh? Wonder if I'm doing wrong all along. I'm just lazy and stay in the closing lane until the end. Thinking. Every time I speak someone say how what I just said is wrong and they are right. How to lock the petrol pump so I don't have to hold the handle the whole time while refueling. I know there's a little latch down there somewhere but it never works for me. Kissing and riding. Breathing oxygen among you earthlings. Riding a bike. I hopped on one for the first time in 15 plus years and loved it. So I bought a bike. But, I don't know if I'm shifting and turning and doing the road rules correctly. Are there resources for grown adults who can stop, go, dismount, but not much else? Therapy. My psychologist constantly tells me it's small steps but it feels like nothing is changing. He wants me to catalog each day devoid of emotion and it feels so pointless. What does it matter if I spend all day playing a game and then the next reading? Most of my anxiety is from external sources that I can't control and therapy hasn't reduced it at all so far. This is my third therapist, my second one did help but I moved. Basically I set a few goals and it feels like I'm not even moving towards them. It's gotta be me doing something wrong because I know he's a talented and qualified therapist. Or maybe I'm just expecting results too soon. TBF my issues are complex. But I DK, I just want to be better. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.